Hello, welcome back or welcome to Kajira Gaming. You can call me KK. In today's video, we're going to be working on this week's Dream Snaps. I'm super excited for this one. This one is bringing all things Spooky Ween and Nightmare for Christmas. So let's dive into the requisites for this week. All right, so first we have to find it. So for this week, it is called the Frightfully Festive. Um, at the time of recording this, it ends in two days. Um, it refreshes every Wednesday. I just kept forgetting to edit this video. So it is frightfully festive, and they are mandating five rustic items and five simple items with a suggested of timber and tonight Nightmare Before Christmas and Playful. This is a decor challenge. I want to say this Holly Dolly haunting is probably like a hint to also include Christmas, but with it being Halloween and I just started playing Dreamlight about two months ago, I don't have anything holly jolly, so we're going to work with what we've got. I decided to go inside the Haunted Mansion house skin that we got. I placed it on its own, so it is not my house, it's just kind of its own little building. So we're going to go ahead and decorate this kind of spooky, kind of like a witch's tavern kind of thing. You'll see me kind of just floating through here trying to figure out what I'm doing. What I do, like with all my builds, I pull out everything that I might potentially want to use, things that I am seeking inspiration from, and then I pick and choose what I do want to use and what goes where. So this basically is a vision board, but in 3D. Okay, so now that I have everything out of my inventory, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch my doors. And at this point I realized that I can only use one door skin because I only have one copy. So, note to self, go get another one of those doors, but they're so expensive, they're like 20,000 gold per door. I'm just sitting here trying to figure out how I'm gonna design everything, where I want this door placement, um, it ends up staying in that corner where it's at now. I think I just scooch it over to that corner just a smidge. Yep, there we go. We're going to add lots of bookcases and greenery and pumpkins and like old worldy furniture. I love these old covered photos that were in our original house when we first joined Dreamlight Valley. They fit perfectly in Sally's little potion lair. Very sad I could not use this organ. It just did not look right at all. I honestly wish, though, that Dreamlight Valley was kind of like Polya in that I can turn things on a 45 degree angle because it's either left, right, or center. There is no angle. I got everybody dressed up in their costumes and it was very, very upset. You cannot place mannequins outside, so that is why Sally's Potion Shop is inside. We're going to go ahead and toss some decorations around her little desk area and go from here. I end up eventually adding some more greenery just to give it that witchy vibe as if she is pulling various herbs for her concoctions. I do have these haunted paintings that came from the star path, but I don't know what makes them haunted. They really just look like paintings that you would find possibly in the Haunted Mansion ride, but they don't add anything spooky to your room. They just kind of are there. Rearranging some pictures because I do want that clutter core style of various pictures and plotted plants against the wall and everything to just give it the aesthetic of blueprints and inspiration for Sally to make her potions. So I went in and grabbed a few more things out of my inventory, I tried adding some pumpkins into here just to give it that nod to the Pumpkin King. I wasn't too thrilled with them, so I pulled them out. They do come back later in different positions. I really wanted to incorporate the spinning wheel in this build. I do eventually add it back in, but you don't see it when I'm getting ready to do my dream snaps. But it is there, it's just in a back corner. I hate how much of a gap there is between things. Polly just, it Polly spoils me a lot. And you can't center most items, which is also quite annoying. All right guys, and here is my final dream snaps 
product. I'm quite pleased with the way this came out. I'm not sure if I'd grasp the whole holly jolly concept of it, but I love it. I do love the way that this just reflects Sally's little corner of the world. And if you guys do like these kind of videos, be sure to like, thumbs up, and subscribe. And join us for all the fun things that we do over on my socials at Twitter and Discord. Both are linked down below. Be sure to join me over on Twitch, also linked down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!